very much, Gary, as the Mighty Modifieds enter the Speedway. 22 strong, and here is tonight's 35 lap modified lineup. Starting on the pole, car number 81 from Quaker Hill, Connecticut. It is Diego Monahan to his outside. Car number 55 from Clinton, Connecticut, Mike Finkelday on the outside of the front row. Starting third, it's the 08 from Roxbury, Connecticut. It is Kurt Lanahan to his outside. Car number five from Lisbon, Connecticut, Chris Pastriag. Fifth starter, car number 71 from Salem, Connecticut, the Carnes Automotive, and Darling Auto Parts entry. It is Jeff Pearl to his outside. Car number 51 from Waterford, Connecticut, Big A Auto Parts of North Brantford. The entry for Rob Janabig. Seventh starter, car number 47 from Plainfield, Connecticut. That is Tom Fox, and it is outside. Five-time champion, car number three from Salem, Connecticut. It is Dennis Gata. Seventh starter, car number 47. The 35 will go next in line, rather, from Southington, Connecticut. It is Dennis Charette to the inside of the fifth row. To his outside, car number 26 from Clinton, Connecticut. Don Fowler to round out the top 10 starters. 11 starter will be car number 11 from Manchester, Connecticut. Sonoma Race Fuels and Hoosier Race Tire beats the entry for Robbie Summers. And to his outside, the current point leader, car number six from Groton, Connecticut. AP Marquardt and SAB tree expert the entry for Ron Juhas Jr. 13 starter, car number one from Norwalk, Connecticut. That is Ronnie Silt to his outside, car number 82. The 82 from Bridgeport, Connecticut, that is Pete Pavone, Jr. 15 starter, car number eight from Groton, Connecticut, Allied Snow Removal. The entry for the Spicer Gas entry for John Brower, Jr., the eighth to start 15. 16 starter, car number 17 from North Brantford, Connecticut, that is Ernie Bertrand. 17 starter, the 09 from East Granby, Connecticut, for Jay Miller to his outside. 18 starting position, the 66 from Gales Ferry, Connecticut. That is Wendell Daly. Last week's winner has a long way to go to make it two in a row. The 98 will start 19th from Milford, Connecticut for Frank Luchacharo. And to round out the top 20, the 27 from Ledger, Connecticut, Tyler Chadwick. And to round out the field, the 77 from Quaker Hill, Connecticut, par four, and Kelly's Coffee providing the sponsorship for Richard Durante. And arriving at the Speedway just a little while ago to round out the field, car number 31 from Waterford, that is Sean Monahan. Tonight's starting lineup for the Modifieds. The Thunder about to exit turn number four, Diego Monahan, Mike Finkelday make up the front row. Green flag is in the air, and we are underway with tonight's 35 lap SK Modified feature. The Sparks already flying at the front of the field, and turn number two is Monahan takes the second spot with Finkelday. Finkel Day trying to get the spot back on the bottom, looking strong. Jeff Crow in car number 71. He has snipped his way into fourth place. One car in trouble, two cars in trouble. One car does a 360 against a nail side wall. That is Don Fowler up in turn number two after Dennis Charette got out of shape. Since he won a feature race about a month ago, we are ready to turn the crank and turning up the volume is the 81 of Diego Monaghan. Still leading back into turn number two. Contact further back will scatter the field. Finkel Day is in that mix and he may have a tire down on the 55 car as he continues to backslide. Will really stretch out the front half as Finkel Day now gets spun off the corner. And some of his parts are shattered out of the track as the caution flag comes out. Practice and the 71 of Jeff Paul. Three flags up, we're back underway. 33 laps to go, just two laps in the books, and Diego Monahan leads to the corner. Kurt Lenahan to the outside of the front row. Now he's under fire from Jeff Pearl to the inside in car number 71. Janovic and Pastriak side by side for fourth, and a big wiggle there by Lenahan. They caught him here on the front stretch. And Janovic is trying to take advantage of that wiggle, and the biggest wiggle of all is by Pastriak. You have in trouble. Our point leader is in distress as five cars get together. In turn number one in one incident, two cars a little farther up led by Pastriak. You Summers are. involved. It is Daly involved. And of course, Juhas, the biggest name among those cars, Ernie Bertrand involved in a 17 car. So uh, some of the big names at the ball are thrown for a loop. Monahan looking for his first win. Pearl's been there before. Off turn four, down to the green flag. And it is Diego to lead him down into turn at number two. Pearl hanging tough on the outside. Janovic 
side by side with Lenahan for that third spot. He'll take the position down in turn number four. Remember during practice tonight, they put plenty of rubber down on the outside and try to fill up the outside room. But see if Jeff Pearl can be the beneficiary of that situation. He is starting to fade, and Rob Janovic takes over his number two position. Janovic up to second, Pearl back to third, all behind Diego Monahan. Fox is up to fourth, and here is one. He's still putting a challenge on for fifth. This Lenahan backslides in the 08. Miller is now up to the sixth position in the 09. And the outside lane gets held up. That means Dennis Gata is pitched in behind the 08 of Lenahan. The drum major of the parade is Diego Monahan, but almost tattooed to his fire suit is Rob Janovic. Watching Dennis Gata further back, going to work and trying to move around Summers just into the top 10. Robbie Summers in the 11, Dennis Gata in car number three in a brand new ride. Second week out looking for another top five finish as the race of the lead is on. Janovic having a look to the inside, to the outside of Diego Monaghan, done, unable to make the pass as they go back to turn one. Janovic is all over Diego Monaghan like a tank as they head into turn three. Pearl shuffling along in third. Tommy Fox off to a great start in fourth. And Ronnie Silk, who has had one of the fastest cars week after week at Deep of Bone in the threats, up in the grass on the front straightaway. We'll see if we can stay under green with Diego Monahan in the lead. Got a little help from Chris Kastriak off of turn number four that sent the 82 spinning to the infield. Leaders are already back in turn two. Pavone a lap and a half behind. Diego Monahan out front. Janovic in second. Pearl in third, caution comes out from the starter stand. I'm sure you saw a great package. Hope you'll join us on Wednesday as we get ready to resume green flag condition. And Diego Monahan resumes after the point. Down in turn number two, Janovic in second, challenging to his outside, side by side for the lead. Pearl takes the third spot away from Fox, who now has Ronnie Silk to worry about to the inside. Back to the top five as they complete lap number 11. And Ronnie still can't keep up with Tommy Fox at this stage of the race. Dennis Charret in six, and firebombing his way into seventh place as Dennis Gata going around with one ahead, making contact with Kastriak. Kastriak stranded in the turn, so the O8 went sideways, and the man who was involved and got demolished in the incident was Chris Kastriak. And you see the front end of that car looks cockeyed, especially the right front tire. and. Uh, Probably some Nerf bar smoke oh. as that car heads back into the paddock. They have a lot to keep our eye on that Pastriac machine. That car's back on the speedway, about a half lap behind the leaders as they come down the green flag. Diego Monahan leads them back into turn number one with Janovic to the outside. Here is Pearl again, looking for the second spot on the back straightaway with Janovic to the outside lane. Jack backing his way underneath Janovic is Jeffrey Pearl. He is going to get second. Rob Janovic hanging as tough as he can, but he can't find anywhere to go on the bottom. He is really hanging tough against Pearl as they head into turn four. And Diego Monahan right on the bottom lane as well as the race leaders. They fan out for a moment here on the front straightaway. Janovic looks to retake second, maybe even the lead using the outside lane in car number 51. Pearl continues to challenge for second. This has been very impressive. The outside run by Rob Janovic. Ronnie Silk is moved into the upper echelon in fourth. Dennis Gata, who has a chance to make a windfall tonight, is in fifth. Monahan under attack. Behind him is Pearl to the outside of Janovic. And they're getting real racy behind Diego Monahan down in turn number two. To the outside is Janovic. In fact, looking to the outside of the race leader down in turn number three. Here is Pearl back to the bottom. Silk is there. Gata, that's the top five as they go back to turn number message exchange between Pearl and Diego Monahan, continuing his assault on the outside. Rob Janovic Jr., lap after lap, Janovic refuses to punch an inch on the outside room. Using the extreme long way around here at the speedway is Janovic. They make a stick this time in turn number three. Pulls up alongside Monahan, all the way up alongside. They are dead even off turn four. Extreme auto racing by Rob Janovic Jr. on the outside, hanging on to Diego Monahan like caution tape on an accident scene. Here comes Janovic, a little sideways off the turn. 
He can't quite get the lead away from Diego. Yellow flag is out. Boston comes out past React up in turn number two. Car number five, and a tough night continues as we get ready to turn the switch back on in the SK Modified. Red flag's back up, we're back underway, and it's Janovic out front cleanly by the time they get to turn number two. The challenge is for second, Monaghan not having the same type of luck that Janovic had in the outside lane trouble. Oh, oh, Monaghan heavy into the wall. Or Pearl heavy into the wall. A collision course with a wall and a Richter scale hit for Jeff Pearl. Came together while racing for second with Diego Monahan. Monahan has been able to continue on. Pearl nearly head on into the outside turn three guardrail to put us under the caution with 17 laps to go. He went out of control and directly into the third turn fence. Under the green flag, we'll try it again. Janovic at this time, it'll be Ronnie Silk to his outside. Racing for the lead as they go back to turn number two. Dennis Gata falls in the line in third. Bobby Summers in fourth, side by side for fifth between Charette and Miller. Miller getting the nose of his car underneath the big D. Dennis Charette, Bernie Bertrand in his sixth. But in the clean air is Rob Janovic opening up a one car length safety valve over Ronnie Silk. Ronnie Silk. Into the second spot, Gata closing in in third. Summers in fourth, and they are still locked side by side for fifth. Dennis Charette up high, Jay Miller down low. Ernie Bertrand gets it, makes a great run for the driver behind the wheel, the 17 car. In fact, makes the pass on Dennis Charette in the seventh spot. It's been the best 20 laps of the season for Ernie Bertrand as he invades the top six in car number 17. Rob Janovic cannot escape Lonnie Silk in car number one. Ronnie Silk in second. Not letting the race leader get away by more than a car length or two at any one time here since the restart. Silk in second, then the race for third between Gata in the three and the 11 of Robbie Summers. Or check that, yeah, yeah, Robbie Summers in the 11. You know, tire wear could be a problem as we go to the finishing laps of this one. Remember Ronnie Rob Janovic was on the outside crew for about a dozen laps. Did that take its toll on his rubber supply? Ronnie Silk continues to be in striking distance. Dennis Gata not too far away, and neither is the Rocket Man, Robbie Summers. Last week's winner, Frank Lucicaro, pulls behind the wall on the back straightaway. His night done, 10 laps shy of the finish. 10 to go at the line for Janovic. Silk there in second, Gata not too far back in third, and Robbie Summers in fourth. They've been able to break away from fifth place, Jay Miller. Janovic and Silk can share the same air supply at the front of the field. In third is Gata, but laminated to his back bumper is Robbie Summers. So four horsepower men in the front of the field. When they hit the strike, we'll have eight laps to go. The arrow being shot out of the ball, Rob Janovic, but he cannot widen his lead against Ron Silk. Silk, if anything, has really closed the gap here, still within a car length of race leader Rob Janovic. And they race for first and second. Dennis Gata has closed in in third. Rob Summers in fourth. The top four cars all single file right there in the lead group on the back straightaway within a car length of each other. Six laps to go. Now, is Rob Janovic going as fast as he can or just as fast as he wants to? As he is maintaining that same length advantage over Ron Silk for about the last handful of laps. If Ron Silk has any magic being stored up in his golf compartment, he is going to have to bring it down. Five laps to go. Let's see if Ron Silk has an answer for the dominance of Rob Janovic Jr. Four to go at the line. Janovic out front. Silk in second. Gata in third. Summers in fourth. That's the way they have run since the restart. Single file and nose to tail. Back to the corner. It'll be three laps to go at the line. Rob Janovic still the fastest set of dance shoes. Heads into the corner first. Right there with him is Silk. Down to the final three. In third place, Dennis Gata. It looks like Janovic might be widening his advantage. Two to go when they hit the strike. He is by just about a car length. Now up to a two-length lead over Ronnie Silk back to turn number one. And they will be free and clear of lap traffic to the checker. White flag this time in the air for Rob Janovic over Ronnie Silk. Dennis Gator, Rodney Summers. To the line, one lap to go for Rob Janovic. He leads back to turn number two. 
Silk in second, Gaina third, Summers fourth. Single file, nose to tail, down to turn number three, and it'll be the checkered flag this time off of turn number four for the 51 of Rob Janovic. To finish in second, a solid second tonight for Norwalk, Connecticut's Ronnie Silk, Dennis Gaeta. To third, Robbie Summers fourth, and Jay Miller in the top five. A very happy Rob Janovic celebrates down trackside. That's where we find Matt Buckler. I think this celebration might be for the benefit of the Sabatucci family as they have watched the newest member of their family, Rob Janovic Jr., come up with a just a scintillating performance tonight in car number 51, the second victory of the year. Ronnie Silk, another close call to finish in second. Dennis Gata, he'll help him in the point standings as he grabs a third place finish. But here's the man of the hour right now in car number 51. They call him the Godfather, Rob Janovic Jr. And that sigh of relief you just heard is from the cockpit of the 51 car. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Rob Janovic. Perhaps one of the most exciting moments of the season, lap after lap, you held your open on the outside row. We haven't seen that done all year in the SK Modified Division. How were you able to do it? No, you've seen it done by the 51 this year. When we get on the outside, I mean, we've had a fast car on the outside a lot of weeks, and uh, you know, I'm not bashing anybody, but you know, we get behind somebody in the outside groove, and, and they're not as good. And I mean, there's ground we can make up. We can do well out there. Uh, the outside groove here does stink, but I think we got the car set up for it. And there, you know, I mean, if you work hard enough at it, there is an outside groove. Um, and I'll tell you something. I mean, uh, I got hats off to Diego Monahan. Uh, he ran me really, really clean. Um, that gave us the lead. Uh, in spite of the 71 was pushing him into the turns. Um, but Diego did his absolute best to run me clean. I got a, I got so many people to thank. My crew chief, Greg Hander, is on vacation this weekend. So my best friend and co-owner in the car, John Volpe, was spotting it. Man, I'll tell you what, he started the race off nervous, but he, he gained a lot of confidence as that baby went on. I just got married four weeks ago. My beautiful bride Annette is here and her family, the Sabatucci's. So uh, we won for them. I'm, man, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled for my sponsors, my team, uh, Flanders Donut Bake Shop. Uh, are you guys sick of hearing me talk yet or can I go on? All right, Flanders Donut Bake Shop. Unbelievable power from GCR. Let me tell you something. Glenn Coleman, that guy really knows how to build a motor. I'm so thankful we got one under the hood. And uh, Premier Garage, big sponsor this year. Uh, Paper Chef, Document Dynamics, Deirdre Automotive, Janet Home Improvement, um, Surpro of Norwich. Uh, John from Surpro is a great, uh, great supporter of ours. Um, Benvenuti Oil, Interstate Batteries, Ams Oil. Uh, the list goes on, but man, I'll tell you what, I, I got a victory lane to get to. Okay, that's the story in the SK Modifieds tonight. A very dramatic and popular victory for the driver of